the theme of this segment is, and it ties back into the question, one of the questions asked in the Ipsos survey, and that was this, would this world be a better place without religion? That prompts me to ask, well, based on the comments of over 49% of the people who said it would be, are we really at risk of losing something very precious in this country and around the world? According to the survey, 49% of all the peoples around the world, led by these countries, now listen to this, Belgium, 68%. Germany and Spain and Australia, also 68%. They're all in a glop together. 63% India, Sweden, Great Britain, 62%. And then Turkey and the United States, believe it, Turkey and the United States, near the bottom at 39%. Those countries don't believe that religion does more harm than good. But according to a separate Pew Research poll from September 6, 27% of all Americans, 27%, so that means one in four, Plus, of all Americans claim to be spiritual, but not religious. And I think it establishes a clear case that at best there's confusion as to what is meant by religious and spiritual. But even worse, I project that these separate reports indicate that the world, including here in the United States, are ready to jettison people who are truly biblically religious and therefore certainly see no reason to defend religious liberty as we've come to note it. And if you were to put Christian in here, those who find that religion is negative, I'm not quite sure, I'm putting it myself, but I don't hardly think that they would find that living true Christianity perhaps is something that they want either when you look at these countries. Dave, let me start with you. Is religious freedom around the world and right here in the United States in jeopardy of being lost? Tell us how, if you believe that it is and how it fits in with some of these things we're finding in this research. As you can see, some of these countries, European countries, have very high numbers of thinking that religion is bad. And it is starting to be reflected in their laws. In France, the French legislature passed a law that prohibit Muslim women from wearing traditional Muslim dress, which, you know, parts of it involves covering their face and so forth and so forth. Now, they do this for cultural as well as religious reasons. They appealed their case from what the French government was doing, because they were going to be fined. They appealed their, uh, they passed their grievance on to the European Court of Human Rights, and the European Court of Human Rights said that the French government can do it. This is absolutely absurd. This shows an intolerance for religion. I'm not a Muslim. I don't believe in the Muslim faith. I believe in Jesus Christ. But if a Muslim woman wants to wear that, that's fine with me. It's, I don't believe the government should fine her. In Canada... If you preach against homosexuality, you can be hauled into a court and find yourself in legal trouble in that government. And, of course, they have a very low threshold for religious freedom. It's going to come to the United States. I hope it doesn't, but it looks like it might because we have a growing secular community that is becoming very intolerant.